Hey guys, welcome back to Pompween. Today I stole my husband's clothes for a very good reason. As you may or may not know, today the second Ghostbusters movie Ghostbusters? Goosebumps. Not Ghostbusters. Today the second Goosebumps movie is coming out. So I decided to do Slappy. And no, I'm not gonna try to do his voice. I can't do voices, I can't do impersonations, so you're you're just gonna have to deal with him sounding like this. Because I don't, I don't know what to do. I wish, I wish I could do voices. I wish I could do accents. Can't do anything. So, yeah. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Pompberry. If this is not your first rodeo, then welcome back. Thank you for joining in on one more day of Pompoween. And if you still don't know what Pompoween is, basically I'm posting one video a day during the month of October. So we're on day 12 right now. That means there's 11 other videos for you to watch that are already posted, and there's still a lot more videos to come. So, now is the time to hit subscribe, if you haven't already. And I promise there's some really cool stuff coming your way. For those of you who have already subscribed, I want to say thank you, I really, really appreciate your support, and let's get to the tutorial. So I've already done my base with foundation and concealer, and this wig is ridiculous. I need to look like I have a receding hairline, so... Uh, what I do for you guys. First, I'm starting off with my brows, and I'm going in with the NYX Brow Gel in the color Brunette. And I'm just filling in my brows pretty heavily. These are really thick and really pointed at the arch. And I honestly think the scariest part of this makeup was doing these brows like this. <laughs> Then to define them a little bit more, I'm going in with the NYX Brow Gel in the color Black. And I'm adding this mostly to the very ends, just to make them a little bit more sharp, a little bit more defined. Just to give, you know, a little bit of dimension. These eyebrows are crazy, man. I, ugh, I don't even know. Then I'm going to clean them up with a little bit of concealer. And yes, Slappy has snatched brows, okay? You just want to make these very, very drawn on. These look crazy. I I can't, you guys. I just, no. Mm -mm. Then with the Tardis Pro Glow Palette, I'm going in with the Cream Contour Color on a really, really small flat synthetic brush, and I'm going to start contouring my nose. He has a really small little button nose, so I'm just kind of trying to make the tip of my nose look really rounded, and I'm really thinning out the bridge of my nose. I'm also adding this line here to really give the impression of a button nose. And it actually works, you guys. It's like crazy. <laughs> I'm also extending my upper lip and I'm starting to draw the little marionette mouth thing. And I'm blurring that line out because we want some dimension to that area. I'm also starting to draw in the smile lines and you really want to extend these out. These have a really particular shape. He also has this like little fold. It's not really a dimple, but it kind of is. And I'm starting to blend this out into the hollows of my cheeks and you want to get a really rounded like puffy cheek shape. I don't really know how to explain it but puffy's I think the best way. I'm also contouring close to my eye and you see that this makes the cheek look a lot fatter like a lot more protrudent and the cheek is supposed to have a kind of bean shape. And you'll see that a little bit better later on. But see what I was talking about? The two little folds. It's not really a dimple. It's just like the folds, I guess. Like wrinkles? Yeah, wrinkles. Skin doesn't have folds. Skin has wrinkles. What am I saying? I'm also creating my new kind of jawline. Then with a ball meet Matt Hughes lipstick in the shade Charismatic, I'm starting to define the lip shape. And he has a very sort of pointed cupid's bow. I'm applying this lipstick everywhere, really extending my upper lip. And I'm also extending the corners of my bottom lip. And this is going to look crazy for now, but it'll make sense later. Then I'm going in with another The Balm Meet Matte Hughes lipstick in the color Sincere. And this is just a slightly darker version of the lipstick I just used. And I'm going to use this to start adding dimension to the lips. So I'm adding it to the center of the bottom lip and to the outer corners. Then with the Black Moon Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Haunting, I'm going to deepen everything even more. This is kind of a really cool tone brown, so it's perfect for creating these shadows. I'm using this to line my bottom lip and the outer corners of my mouth. I'm also adding this to the inside part of my upper lip just to give it a little bit of dimension and really defining that cupid's bow making sure it's really really pointy 
Then going back in with the Tarte Contour Color, I'm just extending the corners of the upper lip and curving them downwards. I'm just working off the reference picture. I'm trying to imitate what his mouth does. I'm also deepening the shadows on my cheeks and adding some shading under my bottom lip. Now the shadow here is pretty intense and it also blends out onto the sides of the chin. And you can see here that I'm varying between two brushes. I apply it with a smaller brush and then I blend it out with a big flat brush. This product is really creamy, so it's great for doing stuff like this. Then with the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the color Cream, I'm going to start doing some of the highlights. And as you can see, I'm applying it right next to where I applied the contour color. This is just gonna make it really pop and really stand out. I'm also applying it to the centers of my cheeks. This color is slightly lighter than my natural skin tone, so it's gonna serve as a base for my highlights that I'm gonna intensify up next. Then going in with the Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer. It's just concealer. <laughs> in the color SX02. It is a very pale, very thick, very, very high coverage concealer, and I'm just applying this on all the areas I really want to highlight, so I really want to make sure to highlight the bridge of my nose and the tip. I'm also bringing that onto my forehead a little bit, but just at the very center. I'm also going to intensify all the highlights that I did with the previous concealer, and as you can see, I'm applying it almost drawing lines with it along all the edges of the dark lines that I created. Also applying it to my chin and to the very centers of my cheeks. You can see here it adds a lot of dimension to the cheeks. I'm also applying it to this little area on the side of my eye. You can see that it really makes the cheek pop and look three-dimensional. It's really crazy what a bit of contouring can do but there you have it, little chubby cheeks. And I'm just using a bigger brush to blend it out. I'm also making sure to outline my bottom lip. As you can see, this really brings it out. And I'm trying to keep the line pretty thin, so I'm using a small flat brush. I'm also taking that concealer and adding highlights to the lip itself, and this kind of creates an edge to the lip. I'm also highlighting my brow bone and right under my eyes, almost kind of like creating bags under my eyes. I'm also applying it to my jaw area and to this little little wrinkle in the skin and some more on the forehead I really wanted it to look kind of domed out as you saw previously I shaded the sides of my temples so adding the concealer in the center of the forehead just makes that area a little bit more dome shaped then going in with the lunatic cosmetics volume 1 contour palette I'm taking this really light pale yellow color and I'm going to set all the highlighted areas with that and because that powder is so so light it's also going to give a boost to the highlights. It's going to lighten them up a little bit and just making sure the areas around my eyes don't have any creases before I set them with the powder. Then I hadn't done this previously, so I went in with some concealer in my inner corner and then set it with the powder. Also made sure to really highlight the bridge of the nose and just all these little wrinkles in his skin. I also went in and highlighted here the edge of the chin flap. I, I don't know what to call that. Then taking the contour color and outlining these bags that I created under my eyes. Then I'm going in with the Catrice eyeshadow in the color Go Charlie Brown. This is just a really cool toned dark brown and I love using this color for contouring. I'm taking that on a fluffy brush and I'm just kind of setting all the cream contouring that I did. Just concentrating it in areas that I want to deepen a little bit more. I also took it into my crease which I hadn't really defined before. Really blended it into the hollows of my cheeks around my chin, around my nose, just pretty much anywhere that I contoured previously. This will just help to give a really seamless blend to everything. Whenever I do cream contouring, I always like to go in with powder afterwards, not only to set it, but also to give it a bit more intensity and depth. Then going in with the Wolf Skins Palette, I'm going to be taking the darkest brown from this, and I'm just going in and creating a separation between my new top and bottom lip, or the corners anyways, and I'm also outlining the little chin piece. I was actually freaking out right here because if I didn't have a steady hand, I would have messed up this line. But it wasn't perfect, so as you can see, I went and cleaned it up with my little concealer brush. And all was fine. Then going in with the Wolf Face Paint in black, I'm just filling in this little area, and now you understand what I mean by my new chin or jawline. You want to give the impression that your face is actually smaller than it is, so I'm going in with the contour color and just creating a little bit of shadow there so that it looks 3D, it looks like it's going inwards, you know what I mean? And then just intensifying everything a little bit more. 
I just always like to tweak a little bit as I go, intensifying contours and highlights when needed. Then going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk, I'm just lining my waterline, and this will make the eyes really pop. It will make them look really, really big. Then going back in with that Catrice eyeshadow, I'm taking it on a very small angled brush, and I'm just deepening all the lines on my face, so all the wrinkles, I guess, wherever I want to give even more dimension to them. Now, last step but not least, I'm going in with the Deck of Scarlet Liquid Eyeliner in the color Coco Cavari, and this is just a really dark brown. It's almost black, and I'm just lining my top lash line, keeping the line very, very small and very, very close to the lash line. I'm not extending it past my eye or anything, and as you can see here, it just defines the eye a little bit more. It just makes it look a little bit more cartoonish cartoony, you know, just how he is. And that's it. This look was kind of silly and kind of a lot of fun to do. When I was putting on the suit, I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror out of the corner of my eye and I freaked myself out. So, you know, this is, this is a fun look. Now, I didn't have a red tie. This one's green. I'm going to try to change the colors in post. Not guarantee I'm going to be able to do that because I've never done that before in my life. And if you're watching this and my tie is still green, that means I wasn't able to change the color, so you're just going to have to deal with it. No, but I am going to change the color for the pictures because I know how to do that in Photoshop. Photo editing, I'm great at. Video editing, not so much. It's a little bit harder. Still a lot to learn. But anyway... Originally, I was going to do the old school slappy look with the ginger hair and the big green eyes. But the wig I ordered still hasn't arrived in the mail, so so I had to use things I already had, and I had this wig, so I figured I'd do the new Slappy. Which one's your favorite version, the new or the old one? I actually haven't watched the new Goosebumps movie, so I don't know if it's any good. Have you guys seen it? Are you guys going to watch the second one? Let me know in the comments below. It looks like it's a lot of fun, so I'm probably going to watch both of them. And okay, I feel like I've been talking for a really long time, so I'm going to stop now. And thank you for watching this video. I really hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for more Pombaween. I'll see you then. Bye!